in order to protect the Earth from global warming, governments around the world are introducing legislation to reduce the emissions of carbon dioxide from road transport. This is driving vehicle manufacturers to introduce new technologies, such as engine downsizing or lightweight. However, there still remains about 30% of the energy available in fuel, which is lost as heat through the exhaust system. Forestia is working on two types of technology to recover and to reuse this energy, heat to heat and heat to power. The first heat to heat technologies was back in 2006 with the first EHRS, Exhaust Heat Recovery System at PSA. The EHRS works by basically putting a heat exchanger in the exhaust line, which then heats engine coolant, which can either heat the engine or to heat the cabin. Regarding heat to power, we're working on EHPG, Exhaust Heat Power Generation. It's like a mini power station, but the heat source is not coming from coal or from nuclear, it's coming from the exhaust line. And this heat generates steam, which turns a turbine, which can either be used to generate mechanical energy into the drive line, or it can be used to generate electricity. The target market for EHPG is the long haul truck market. This is where we have long distances and we have high payloads. We think that this technology should be in the market for the trucks within the next five years, and we can see a market of around about 2 million trucks by 2030. In parallel, we are also working with premium customers for large SUVs or D-segment sedans, where fuel consumption is becoming increasingly important. So the benefits of EHPG on a passenger car are up to 8% fuel consumption and 2.5 tonnes of CO2 saved over the vehicle lifetime. For a truck, it's about 5% fuel consumption, but that equates to 50 tonnes of CO2 over the vehicle lifetime. It's good for the customer and it's good for the planet.